Hello, everybody. This is Scott with Eurotech. We're going to go over uh, tool life management on our uh, Eurotech machines. So first thing what we want to do is we want to go to the tool life page and set up um, our tool life, what tools we want to count and set that page all up. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the custom button. And as you, when it comes in, you'll be in this page. We want to press the tool life management soft key. And it's going to bring us to our tool life management page. As you can see here, we have some things set up. So to edit and set this page up, first thing we have to do is we have to go into edit mode here. Okay. This will allow us to go into the edit mode here in the tool life. So we turn that on, you'll see some information comes up and you'll see edit on at the top. Now what we can do is we go through and set what tool numbers and offset numbers we want to do. For this particular one, we're going to use some redundant tooling. So tool one and tool three are going to be our rough turn and we want those in it redundant in a family. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over and we're going to set the life group one. So tool one is in group one and tool three is in group one. And when you set it up like this, this is your tool number. This is your offset number. So we will set that to one. We will set this to one. We will then cursor over, give it our turn position, tool one, tool three. Okay. If we were going to do, say, a double y-axis tool and we wanted tool one offset 21, so we would have tool one offset one is in group one, and then we would page down to offset 21, we would set that to turret position one, and we would set it as life group one. Okay? So two different ways of doing redundant tooling if we're using a, a double y holder or if we're just using two stations. Then we will come over to tool life and we'll set how many parts we want the life to be at. In this case, we set this to three. And when you'll see when that's zero, when I set that to three by pressing three here, you'll see it go into here. And when I press input, you'll see it go into here and it will populate the life count. And what the life count does is it counts down. So as you make a part, this will go from three to two. Make another part, now it'll go to one. So it counts down. And once far as it's been met, your tool status will show off. And then it will then go to tool three and run tool three for three parts. And it, once it makes that, it'll be off. And then we'll get an alarm at the end. On tools that we're not going to be using redundant tooling, in this case here, tool offset number four, and then offset number seven, number eight, we don't need to set any of this information here in life group or in the turret station. It's all based off the offset number. So we just come down here and we just set what we want our life at. In this case, tool four, number five, tool seven, number seven, and tool eight, number eight. So once you have this set up like this, then we can go to our program and put in the correct codes. So we will go to our program page and we will go into our program. I'll blow it up here. Okay. So as we go down here, tool one, this is our rough turn tool. You see here we have tool one, they're call up our tool. We got our G54, and then you see a G199. G199 is the code for tool life management. You will see an F value meaning family one. Okay. So we're saying we're going to use tool life, family one. Then on our next tool, our finishing tool. Uh, let's see here. So here's our finishing tool here, tool number four. 
because we are not using a family as just one tool. We just do a G199. And this same case for our drill, after we call up our tool, G199. Always put your G199 after you call up your tool, not before you call up your tool, okay? And then on our last drill here, we call up tool seven, and you have our G199. Once again, no F value because it is not part of a family. We're just doing that single tool. Then down at the end of the program, right before we have our part count, we're going to put in this macro statement here. Very important to have the M29 before the macro statement. This is buffer reset, stops look ahead. And this macro statement here, if you refer to the tool life manual on your USB stick or CD with your machine, we put, it, we put in this macro code, which POW 147 is set by the tool life page, where once far as a tool life has been met, it's going to turn that to a one. So it's checking that variable. If it's a one, then we're going to get an alarm that says end of tool life. And that's all you need to do for setting up the program. Once you have those all set up, now you're ready to run. To get ready to run, we have to turn our tool life page on and then go ahead and run our part. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll go back to our custom page, tool life management. We're going to turn tool life on. You'll see up here at the top, tool life is on. We're now ready to run. So we will go ahead. We're going to go to auto. We're running program one only. We're going to go continuous and we'll run this through. And you'll see how with tool one, the roughing tool, once it meets the three tools for tool one, it's going to switch and then go to tool three, run three parts, and then it'll end up alarming out and then so forth with the other tools. So what I'll do here is I'll go to the check page so you'll be able to see here we're on tool one right now. Now I went to tool four. And as you can see, when we go to our custom page here, you'll see here as it counts down, tool four is now at four. See, it counts down. So then see, it went to tool one and then switched to tool three. And that's where the family wise has met as far as its count on tool one. Tool three is the next tool in the family. So it indexed the tool one. And once it reg registered the G199F1, it saw the next tool to go to is tool three and it indexed to that. That's how that works. So once far as tool life has been met on any given tool, what you'll see is on the control, it will come up with this alarm in tool life. So what we do is we go to our custom page and we look here at our thing and we can see that tool one has been met, tool three has been met, and tool four has been met. So we would go ahead and we would go in and we go change those inserts put a fresh corner in or a fresh insert in. And now what we need to do is we need to clear this page. So we'll hit reset on the machine. What we have to do is we have to go to edit, okay? Our edit. So we can go to edit here on our tool life page. Once you go to that, you'll see it says we can either reset all the count or just one, just one of them. Obviously, 
in this case, we don't want to reset all the count because we still have a few more parts on these two tools. So we are highlighted here on tool one. So if we just hit reset count, it clears that one. Edit on, we cursor down to our next tool here, reset count. Edit back on, and we go down to our next tool, tool four, reset count. Now these have been resetted after we changed our tool, and now we're ready to start back up. And that's how you do the tool life on the FANUC side.